All right, guys, welcome back. So today we are doing the unthinkable, the unspoken of. I'm just kidding. We're gonna go 35s. Yes, we are. We're gonna go 35s on this one. We have 33s right now. Um, I think we'll clear 35s. Um, I, right now I'll show you which 35s we're going with. Uh, we're going with wider wheels, wider tires, the ones we had on our white ramp, because on that one we're going a different route. But we're gonna do it. We got short arms, we got front rear lockers, stock dips. I know someone's gonna comment. I know someone's gonna say, you're gonna blow up your diffs, you're gonna do this, your axles. And I'm okay with it. If it happens, it happens. That's why I'm here. I'll test it out for you guys. Let you know, I don't mind rebuilding it. I don't mind going with the 44 in the back later on. I don't mind it. I have the ability to fix it, replace it. So I'm, I just wanna show you guys and show myself how long or what it takes to, or how 35s run. So with 33, I mean, it drives awesome in the highway. Uh, we, of course, 65 is our top speed. I mean, <laughs> it's a Jeep, it ain't meant to go that fast. So 65 is our comfortable speed. Average mile per gallon is 11.8, I believe. If not, I'll throw it in here because I think I took a picture of it. So that's our average. Things I don't want to do. I don't want to trim fenders. I think I'll clear the height. I don't want to trim fenders. This bumper, I know I'm going to have to trim because with 33s, the only rubbing I have is here on the windshield washer motor. So all this, I'm planning on removing. I don't want to trim, I'm going to probably trim the bumper. All this metal bracket is probably going to be removed. Well, it's going to be removed. Um, fog light, we'll probably just leave the lens so it doesn't look like a hole. I don't want to cut it, but if I have to, I'll have to cut it. But all this is going to get removed. This is where I rub in the front. I could still extend my diff forward a little bit if I need to be, if it need to be, because I have adjustable upper and lower control arms and my drive shaft. I do have some uh, some play where I could uh, move it to the front, this is where I could stretch it some more because it's an aftermarket drive shaft. So I wouldn't mind stretching it. So I know the front, we should be pretty solid. And of course, if you guys know, I do have short arms. And when you flex on short arms, your tire moves forward. That's why we rub over here. So I know if eventually we will go to long arms. I'm looking into it. I'm gonna design it and I'm gonna build them. So that's for the future. I'm working on how I wanna do it. But if I go, once I go with long arms, I know we ain't gonna be scooting up forward that much. So we might rub over here once I go with long arms because tires just gonna go straight. It's not gonna move forward. If you guys understand what I'm talking about. So that's why I wanna try with short arms. I know online everybody says long arms, bigger diffs, re-gear. I'm running 373 gears front and rear. So I'm gonna stick with that. I don't wanna re-gear, especially a Dana 30 and a 35. I'd rather re-gear if I do go 44, Dana 44 the for the rear, but that's in the future, that's if we blow it up. But one thing that I can emphasize is you gotta learn how to wheel. You learn how to wheel, you don't blow things up. I see a lot of people just skinny pedaling everything, hopping it, hitting rocks. That's how you break. You gotta learn. If you look at people that know how to wheel, look at those videos that people that know how to wheel have been doing it for years. Slow and steady, slow and steady wins the game. So that's why. So on the rear, same thing. We got short arms in the rear. So when our tire flexes, I, rub, my, I haven't trimmed nothing back here. So. I'm probably gonna have to trim the bumper. The bumper, I don't wanna trim fenders. I don't want to. I really don't want to. I think if I have to, I'll probably stick with 33s, but I don't wanna trim the fenders. I don't like it. I don't like it. But we'll see once we get there. For the bumper, we are gonna trim it. My plan for the bumper, which is one of these videos, I'm gonna, like what I did with the rock sliders, I'm gonna big trim it here because I know the EVAP system, I don't like how these look without a bumper. So I'm planning on trimming it here all the way across and building like a rock slider. Because right here, if rock hits it, which it has, it just bends it. But I want to build a rock slider that I could be welded directly to the, to the, to the hitch, to the hitch. I want to weld it because it's that to it. And I want to build a rock slider that goes all the way, all the way around. So, but that's for the future. So, 
Let me bring out the 35s because I'm gonna need help from my assistants because my back is ain't that great to lift them up. So let me bring them out and then I'll bring you guys right back out. All right guys, this is what we're going with. 35, 12, 50, 15. There you go. Mile stars, because I love them. This is what we had on the other truck. I love these tires. I don't care what people say, but look, check it out. It's about two inches taller. Right now I'll compare it when I take it off. My assistants had to take this tire off and it is wider. Even though this looks to be the same, but the rim is wider, so kind of wanted it to stand out some more. So hopefully it's what we like. Of course, I'm gonna keep these 33s because the original plan for this Jeep was just to go camping, light off-roading. But you know how we humans are. Once you get a taste of something, you want more and more and more. So that's why we started going trails, harder trails, doing some rock crawling. So, but that's why if people ask, oh, why don't you go with long arms from beginning? One, they're expensive. Two, I wasn't planning on needing long arms. And now things change. Eventually we will go long arms. I'm gonna subscribe, stick to, stick with the, with the channel. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna make them. We're gonna make the long arms. We're not buying a kit. We are gonna figure it out and we're gonna make it work. Cause this thing is not something that gets trailered anywhere. We drive this thing everywhere. Drive it, beat it, drive it home, no matter what. So. Let me take this one off and then I'm gonna make do some measurements. That way you guys could see the width. Let me put you guys down here. So you guys can kind of see things that I'm gonna be measuring to let you know. Oh, our tire's rolling away. I'm not silly. All right, so right now, uh, our width. Our width from tire to tire because we're going wider. It is seventy two inches, seventy two inches. That's where we're at right now. 72, remember that number. I'm gonna write it down. So 72. <laughs> 72 is our width. And of course, these wheels that I'm putting on are five by 5.5. This bolt pattern is five by five. So what I did, I ordered, hopped on on Amazon, Order these adapters. Don't worry about it. I know people say the same thing. Don't run spacers, don't run adapters. Wheels are gonna fall off, blah, blah, blah. I've driven with those spacers that I have on it. I currently have spacers on it uh, for, yeah, two years, three years. Been driving with those spacers, no issues. What people like to do is maintenance. Like I tell you guys, before we go on trip, I torque my wheels. I lift it up once in a while, check no play. Anytime it drives funny, pull over, check it out. So as long as you do your maintenance, retorque them every once in a while, you take your brakes, have them get retorqued, you won't have an issue. I know some people hate them, but the people that don't hate them is because they know how to use them. So we're going with these adapters, pick them up, there you go. Those are it. So yes, don't worry about it. They'll get retorqued, never had an issue. Hopefully I shouldn't have an issue long as you take care of your equipment and it'll take care of you so let me get one tire off let me get my assistant to take it off because back's already hurting so let me get him do it and i'll bring you guys up as soon as we're putting it on all right guys so these are the, the spacers we had been running them for years they done great so now that we're going to swap them out one thing you want to do before you put spacers or anything which i did last time but get rough get yourself a wire brush Clean your rotor. It's like welding. Clean your surfaces. Start your metal. Avoid any issues. And later on in the trail, you're like, oh man, tires off balance, this or that. It's not sitting flush. Clean your stuff. Prep. Prep work. Prep work, even if it takes a little longer. Prep your stuff. 
it helps you in the long run. So let me finish cleaning it up. Or and then I'll put the spaces on. And go from there. That's good. What do you guys think? Should I? I know how to, and I have the capabilities of building a thrust for the Dana 30. Because I can do it. But we'll do it later. It's hot today, guys. It's gonna hit like 109 out here. So, if you see me sweating, it's normal. It's normal. So, we got it kind of cleaned up pretty good. And then the other reason why we are gonna go to long arms, if you guys saw my video when I bent all this, the steering, it's not because it was cheap. I did a hard hit on this one. It was so hard that I bent this, the lower control arm, it bent in. I was I straightened it out, I used my winch, pulled it out, it's fine. I measured my, I measured where the wheel sits, so we're good. It moved back about a little bit about over a quarter of an inch. So it was, it was a lot for, it was a hard hit. So that's why my steering failed. It wasn't, well, other than it might be weak, but that's why it failed. And that's why we're going to long arms eventually. Cause I don't want that anymore. I'm going to take it off, cut it, go long arm, but that's for another video. So now let's put the spacers on. Well guys, we got the first one on. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know if I like it. They're wide, of course, they do stick out. I mean, for off-roading, I don't know, guys. We have plenty of room up here. I even think turning, because these stick out more, the offset is way different. I don't think it's gonna rub. I will rub up, up front, so that is a given. But look, I saw plenty of room over here. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. I don't know. I don't know. It looks beasty though. Doesn't look too, too, I gotta put all four of them on guys before I give you thoughts of if I like them or not. Be honest, you guys don't like them, you could say yeah. I don't know. Those wheels are way lighter than the original ones. I wish I had a scale to weigh this setup to the other setup because I think it's either the same or because these wheels are light aluminum. They're super light aluminum. So, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I guess I gotta put all four of them on to see. Let's put them all on, guys, and then we'll see. Let's put them on. All right, guys, there's on. Sorry, they don't want First impression, I'll tell you what I think I gained, what I lost. Check it out. It looks good. It's growing on them. At first, when I first put that one up, eh, it wasn't my cup of tea. But it's growing. It's growing on me. Check it out. It's growing. And right now I'm going to tell you what I think, what we've gained. I mean, we did gain some clearance, obviously. But check out, check that out. I wish the camera would do justice to how things look. But all right, a couple of things. Uh, we'll go pros, cons. I'm all over the place, so just check it out. So. To my surprise, no rubbing. I mean, I could still adjust that diff a little bit back, but I'm gonna tuck them in right now. You guys are gonna see me flex it here. So check that out. My old ones, I guess, look, they were rubbing on the shock when we went to full flex. So these, I got plenty of room. So I gained that, so we ain't gonna be rubbing there. I'm pretty sure we'll still rub back here, but I'll trim it. But I don't think I'm gonna have to trim the front. I don't know, we'll find out. We shall find out, because you know I'm gonna put this thing to the test. It's gonna go on trails, it's gonna be tested. It's gonna be tested for you guys. So if I break, now you guys know what not to do or what to do. What if I don't break? But if this works for a long time? I don't know, you don't know, we'll, but we'll find out. Check out the front. Same thing, I got a lot more clearance here, because these are, they stick out and check this out guys. I could still adjust my diff to the front, forward. But I think, Check it out. I think we got room. I think we do. Just with the width of these wheels, the way they stick out, I think we do. I mean, I'm pretty sure, and check it out, I got plenty of room here, so right now we're gonna flex it. We're gonna flex it, and that way you guys take a quick look, and I take a quick look at see our first 
impressions. I'm sure I'm gonna have to do some trimming. I'm sure. I'm sure something's gonna happen, but I'm not gonna touch these fenders. If I have to touch these fenders, we're going back to 33s. Sorry, 35s. We'll go back to 33s, which I am gonna keep for in case my gas mileage. If the other thing, if my gas mileage hits the nine mile per miles per gallon, I'll probably go 33s because nine is horrible. 11 is doable. It's doable. So it looks good, guys. It actually looks good. I kind of took away from the sleeper Jeep. They kind of took it away because the other one is with the 33s of stock wheels, it did look like a sleeper. Like it looked like I had nothing. With these, I mean, you're gonna think it's got something underneath. So let's let's put it, let's flex it guys. Let's flex well first let me uh lift the front. We'll turn the steering so we could see if we have any rubbing there. Cause I prefer function over looks 100 percent So if these ain't gonna function, they're not gonna stay on. We gotta go with function over looks. Yes, because there's no point in having a mall crawler that can't do the, the good stuff. And trust me, we're gonna go back to that eight. I don't know if you guys saw that last video where I took off to the seven and didn't continue on the eight. If I like this, cause I'm gonna drive it for a couple of days. If I like the setup, I like it. We're gonna go back and we're gonna try it. I think it looks good guys. We get a lot of width. I mean, with these, I don't know if you guys heard about the poor man B-locks where you put a way wider tire on skinny wheels. That way you don't beat a uh, DB to tire. I think we did lose that on these. Cause the, tire, the rim is wider than the tire. So I'm pretty sure if I drop the pressure really low, we might run into de-beating, but we'll find out. We'll find out if I de-bead, pop the bead back on and Charlie Mike continue. So that's the thing I lost. The other thing I gained is I'm gonna, a lot more safety for the body. Cause you guys know I have knock on Jeep. I wanna take care of the body. That's why we ain't gonna cut fenders. And with this, check it out, our rock sliders, our tires are gonna take care of it and our rock sliders because with the other ones i should have taken a picture the tire would be inside the rock sliders now i think we gain a lot of protection a lot of protection on the doors on the panels i kind of it's growing on me at first it wasn't but it's growing so let's lift it up and let's turn the wheels in so let's pray that everything looks good down there all right guys so we got it up in the air because i don't want to do it and put the pressure on the steering yet so uh, where did the wife leave the keys so i mean i think we should be okay but hold on found them all right guys moment of truth let's see let's see what we're gonna have to do or if we're not or if we are or what is going on let's see all right, I'm gonna put you guys down right here. I'm gonna turn it all the way right. Oh, yep, rubbing. Rubbing pretty damn good. Dang, we're rubbing right there, guys. We are rubbing. Definitely gonna need a trim. Definitely. Ugh. Pretty sure the other side. But over here, it looks good. Yeah, we're rubbing right there, guys. As you guys can see. So, let's trim that up a little bit. So, because I'm not going to touch the fenders. I'm going to, I got room for this plastic. Uh, let's see. I have to figure it out. It's going to happen, guys. Cause I don't, I haven't trimmed anything as you guys could see. So let's look at the other side. So, I mean, the front it cleared. We're not rubbing on control arms or anything. Just there. Let me turn the, let me force it so I could see how far. Okay. Yeah, so. I think by trimming that, we should be good. All right, let's 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 flex it with the wheel straight. So. So we could see at once what else we got to trim if we have to. Uh, but yeah, for sure. This is going to be trim. Uh, I'm going to take it off and see how it looks. 
But yeah, we're gonna have to do some trimming there. Or move the diff forward. But let me flex it so I can see how much it tucks up in here. We wrap it. Check it out, my little MacGyver ramp. Let's put you guys here so you can see us go in there. Well, guys, I'd be damned. I'd be damned. Look at that. It doesn't rub. But I'm pretty sure if I go higher, it will. But that's a good flex. That is good. Check it out, guys. Wow. That's pretty good, MacGyver Ram, huh? Look at that flex. Look at that. So, I can't believe where I thought I was going to have to trim the most. Look, we clear it there. Clear it there and I still have room up here. So I'm pretty sure I could go higher. I don't know if I'd go higher on a rock, but look at that. It actually doesn't rub back here. That is surprising, big time. Let's go around. Oh my God, look at this flex. It, it don't get any better than this, guys. Wow. This is, look, look at that. This is crazy. This is crazy, guys. Look at that flex. It is crazy. That's a pretty good MacGyvered ramp if you tell ask me. And we still got more, so, cause this tire's not up in the air. <sighs> Let's see the front. Look at that, clearance, 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 clearance. Just that back. What I thought I wasn't gonna have to trim, I'm gonna have to trim this. It's gonna be a must, but I'm gonna make it look good. I'm gonna make it look good, guys. I'm gonna look at that flex. Let's see the other side. Damn, it looks good. Oh, you gotta appreciate it. Oh, it looks awesome. You see, and you could tell when we flex, it goes down, so it separates. When we're gonna go up, it moves forward. So the only issue is turning. Turning is our only issue. That's it, and it's only here. Only issue is turning, and right here, and that's it. I could scoot the diff forward, but I'm gonna try just a little chop chop. But look at that, guys. Let's see how how much we flexed it that way. There's no questions, doubts. So right now, two feet, that's two feet of flex, two feet of flex. So, and we still have more. Tires still in the ground. So we still got some more flex. We still got some more tucking in there. So we flex the two feet there. And I like you guys, I actually like it. I thought I was, I can't believe the rear's not rubbing. I really can't believe it guys. I really can't. But it looks good, damn, look at this. Man, for a short arm, come on. Show me a short arm that flexes like this. Look, and you could tell my upper control arm isn't that stressed. It's just the lower one, you could tell it's stretched the hell. But. I mean, with long arm, I'm pretty sure we'd have more. But do you really need more? Do you? You always need more. So, I like you guys. Let's see. And I thought I was gonna have to create, uh, make a bump stop for it. Cause I have pipe. I can make a, extend a bump stop here. That's what I thought I was gonna have to do. Cause I thought we were really gonna rub on the top fender and I wasn't gonna cut it. So I was gonna extend the bump stop. Limit a little bit of flex, but avoid some, avoid trimming but no i like it look this is where it was rubbing we're not rubbing let's see oh no not even close not even close spring still could compress some more i like the flex guys i like it i like it a lot i like it you see guys lockers they didn't struggle to get up there so and I know people are gonna say, you have lockers on, you're gonna blow the diff. It's all right, guys, if I blow it. It's all right, I'll be the test of me. But 
in my opinion. Because I was, I, I watched a lot of videos. People that do this, put 35s, they're like, no, no lockers. Because you're going to blow your diff easy. In my opinion, this is my opinion. And remember, I am not an expert. I am not a master mechanic. I'm just a guy that does things, knows a little bit about a lot of things, not a lot about about one thing. So, my opinion. Because if you've seen it, your tires are spinning. When you got, we have one tire spinning. All the power is going to one tire. All the weight of the vehicle is going to one tire. So you're going to stress the heck out of that axle, that shaft. My opinion, both of them are spinning. We're putting the load, the weight of the vehicle, the load on both tires due to the lockers. Might be right, might be wrong, but I haven't broken. We're going to test this. We're going to test the crap out of this, guys. So that's my opinion. Hopefully the lockers have extended the life of my diffs. I don't know. Obviously, I haven't broken. Knock on Jeep, like I said. But that's my opinion. I'm running lockers, stock gears. We are, I'm still going to do some testing. I'm still going to go on the highway, see how it shifts, see if I even like it on the highway, see if we can still get up to the 65 comfortably. We get all our gears. We're still going to do testing. So stay tuned because there's a lot more testing trails. All go, sorts of good stuff before I tell you guys it's worth going on 35s. Because right now we're still on test route. I can't tell you. Go 35s. Put them on. Short arms. No. Because I don't think you guys seen many short arms on 35s with that flex. That I know you've seen long arms flex like that. But this is a short arm. Short arm, you got to give it credit. And I think the offset of these wheels kind of helped a lot. So let me bring it down. Let me let me flex the front. Let's flex the front. How about that, guys? Let's flex, flex the front so we could do some more checking. Be right back. Let me take the beast down. can't make this up it it works it's working guys check it out as you could tell tire scoots forward if i turn yes it's gonna rub so that's gonna have to come off i got it no problem understood but check it out tire we still have more flex to go we still have more check out the rear awesome flex plenty of room that's where our old tires are rubbing plenty of room no issues there Definitely no issues on the back because, of course, it scoots forward when it goes down. Check out the rear. Oh, come on, guys. You got to burly touching on the bump. Bur and I mean, deal. burly touching. So, a trim. We'll get a trim. Up here, look at this. We still got room. Shock still got room. Let's see our bump stop where it's at. Nope. Still got plenty of room. Upper controller flexing good. No rubbing over here in the front. Guys, I ain't making this up. I kind of like it. <laughs> I kind of like it a lot. Check this. Ooh, check this flex out, guys. Man, nope. More clearance than clearance, clearance. Look at this. Easy peasy. Check it out. Check it out, guys. Well, any, let's see how anything binding down here. Let's see. No? Oh, if you guys see, check this out. Quick. Quick side note, distraction. Remember my sweat, my steering stabilizer? Uh, I broke it last time. So what I did, I don't want to take it off. I like it. It's going to stay. What I did, look, I got one of the spacers from the shocks. I put it there to reinforce this bracket. Then I ran a bolt and I put it on top. Twisted it up a little bit. And now, rock will hit this and the diff. Unless it's a skinny rock, then it'll go right in the middle. But yeah, now it sits on top, on the bottom. Quick hack, guys. Take a look. That way you guys could do it. That is a must do. No matter what, do it to yours. That way you don't mess that one up like I did. So see, you guys learn from my mistakes. Look at this guy. That looks good. I replaced this bushing. A couple, two nights ago, I replaced that other bushing just to be on the safe side. We still got room to flex. If I needed to, I thought I was gonna have to extend these because of the rubbing, but no. No rubbing and I know we still have more. I know we still have more. Our drive shaft, let's see, because it extended. Let's look at our drive shaft. Let's look at our drive shaft. 
Drive shaft, nope. Drive shaft is good. I love that drive shaft. Kellen and Drive One, shout out. You guys did an awesome job. Not sponsored or anything. Nobody likes me, but it is awesome. I'm just kidding. People like me, I hope. But look at that. The rear, nice flex. Man, those control. I can't wait till I build a long arms. I think it'll be awesome. But yeah, guys, you guys are witness. You guys are witnessing 35s on short arms. Of course, we do have an eight inch total lift. 35 short arms, good flex. Good flex. So can't wait to test it out on the, on the trail, guys. Can't wait. So I think it is gonna function. Just need to trim. I'm only gonna trim the front. I'm gonna let the back rub, back rub a little bit, see, before I trim it, but I have to trim that front. But this is what I was worried that I, I wasn't gonna have to trim these fenders. So these fenders don't have to trim them. Short arms, eight inch. You guys see it? You guys are witnessing it. It works. Flex is awesome. Do you see how it doesn't struggle, guys, with lockers? It doesn't struggle. Keep that in mind. So I don't know how long it's gonna last, but you guys stay subscribed, stay tuned. You guys will either see it live forever or blow up one day but we'll fix it no we can't fix but yeah guys i like it i like it a lot we'll work on the steering another time but a little bit at a time what i want to show you guys is testing limits on a low budget to be honest with you i could have gone long arms i could put badass steering but i'm gonna test all right guys so, uh, sorry about that camera just cut off but i'm gonna close the video out here this is just the first video there's gonna be a couple first video just putting them on so on the next video you guys will see me what i trim how i got everything because can't show you right now but it's done i already got it dialed in it's done it doesn't rub when it turns it doesn't rub when it flexes and it turns i got to figure it out and the next video stay tuned i'm going to show you guys exactly what i trimmed what i adjusted um everything everything the final thing the final product how it looks and what i did to make these work function not just look how i make them function so it's ready guys it's ready so stay tuned for the next video subscribe uh in the next video you guys will see how i finished it it's done so and i like it i like it a lot so stay tuned subscribe check out next video that way you'll see me trim the whole nine yards. Sorry, I keep repeating myself, but excited. It's good. It feels good. It feels good accomplishing this. So stay tuned. You guys will like it. You guys will like what's coming.